All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yashai, Bashim Rechakodash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the like to Akim, walk with them, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. All right, it's going to be another uh, video. I was just uh, doing some reading here again in Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, and I was uh, reading through, and the scripture came up. All right, and so basically, the topic, topic of this video is going to be on how, you know, I've, I've, uh, recently, I've done several videos on it, but the only God that is in existence is the Most High. All right, us being the Hebrew Israelites, all that we're supposed to worship is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and truly, all that everyone on this planet Earth is supposed to worship is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All these other gods that have come into creation are myths and fabrication, and very soon, everyone is going to realize that Israelite and heathen. All right, and so mainly these heathens are going to pay for creating these idols all right idolatry is or you know what? hang on let me check something real quick okay all right as you can see right here i got the uh ten commandments in the the hebrew lashua kodash all right now let's see what the first the very first commandment that was given to us all right the hebrew israelites uh all Basically, in English, uh, no have you gods others before me, which we know today as thou shalt, uh, uh, oh shoot, I might have to get it in Exodus, but thou shalt have no other gods. That is the first, that's the first uh, commandment. And what's the second one? La'a thy sha, la'ka pasal, wa la'a thy badma. All right. No make to you graven image and uh, thou serve them. So don't make any uh, graven images, no idols, no idolatry. That's the first two commandments. That's the first two commandments. Yet yeah, everybody is all off into bullshit, and that's not going to go unpunished. This is wisdom, wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 11. Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a, visita a visitation, because in the creature of the Most High Power they are become an abomination and stumbling blocks to the souls of men and a snare to the feet of the unwise so many these idols that were created have completely encompassed and uh shadowed the whole world all right and a lot of shit was created by jake like uh even that muslim shit you know jake came up with and ishmael took it around with it all right and now a lot of you dumb niggas are starting to go back to it but all these other gods that shit esau himself Esau has lifted up himself as a god. Atheism and Scientology and uh, evolution is exalting Esau, the so-called white man. It shows that, oh, he's great and he got to where he's at because he's just so great and smart. All right. Those things are not going to go unpunished. Once again, it says they are become an abomination and stumbling block to the souls of men. All these people are caught up in all this bullshit and it's not it's, it's not going to be like this forever. All right. Now I'm going to go down to verse 27. Con, yep, for the worshiping of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. For either they are mad when they be married, or prophesy lies, or live unjustly, or else lightly forswear themselves. All right, is that not how we got into the situation? Eve got deceived, and she went and started doing uh, what she wasn't supposed to. Gave into those philosophies outside of what the Most High gave unto us. All right, speaking of Adam and Eve, that was that was the beginning. That's how all this shit started. Idolatry is the number one sin. All sin is evil. All right, the most the most lightweight sin, uh, you know, was uh, you know, eating pork. All right, compared to idolatry, uh, might not be as major, but all sin uh, is wicked. But this right here, idolatry is just idolatry completely separates you from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and so it's not it's not gonna go unpunished. Now let me get this. Isaiah forty five and five. I'm gonna start at verse four because this is all this is commanded to the nation of Israel. That's all that. That's that's who this is for. You true Hebrew Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that need to wake the fuck up. Isaiah chapter forty five verse four says, "For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have been, I have even called thee." Uh, by thy name, I have surnamed thee, uh, though thou hast not known me. All right. So the Lord chose us and we've been bullshitting. How we've been bullshitting? We've been under the groves. Uh, we've been crying for Talmuz. 
like it tells you in uh, Ezekiel. The angel said, come and see what thou people do. Look through the hole. Are what these niggas worshiping the sun? Women crying for tile moves. Motherfuckers under the grove getting it in in idolatry. That's that's how we separated ourselves and have not known the Lord. All right, verse five. I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. So there is no one except for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right now, Yahweh Shai, he's our reconciliation to get back into the good side of the Lord. But there is no other God. Krishna is not real. Allah, which is just a Hebrew word meaning uh, God or power, angel, all right, a uh, 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 judge. Allah, as what these people deem uh, that that Muslim and Islam shit is not real. All right. Muhammad is a joke. Buddha uh, is a joke. Confucianism is a joke. Uh, Hindi, all that bullshit. All right. There is no God outside of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Those are the ruling authorities in all existence throughout all eternity. And that's how it's going to be. All right. Let me get this. Verse 6, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the east that there is none beside me. I am the Lord and there is none else. All right. And he's going to make it even clear in uh, this next verse I'm going to go to. I'm just looking through here real quick. Uh, see if there's any. Uh, oh, shit. There's plenty more meat on the ball. Let me just see. God, OK, yeah, I'm going to jump. Uh, I'm going to jump to this because if there was somebody else up there. All right, the Lord would have said something. <laughs> All right, this is Isaiah 44 and 8. Fear ye not, neither be neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time and have declared it? Uh, ye, uh, ye are even my witnesses. <clears throat> is there a God beside me? Yeah, there is no God. I know not any. All right. So the Lord was saying it straight up. If there was somebody else up here, I would have told y'all. Ain't nobody else sitting up here on, on this mountain. I'm not up here battling it out, uh, uh, struggling for power uh, with uh, with Allah. Uh, the motherfuckers talking about Allah Akbar and blowing shit up uh, in the spiritual realm, fighting against the aim. No, it's not going down like that. Everyone is everyone is under the power of Yahweh, even his son, Yahweh Shah Hamashak, our Lord and Savior. That is that is all. That is it. That's why <clears throat> this is the number one commandment. La ya uh la ka alahayam akhariam al panya. Thou shalt not have any other gods uh before me. Alright, now let's get that in Exodus. I believe it's chapter twelve, and then I'll close it. It's just simple. I, I was reading that uh I was reading that and uh was in Psalm and the Spirit hit me to do the video on it. Oh, this is uh it's the Passover. Okay. Let's see. I know it'll pop up in uh, Exodus. All right. It's, it's straight to, to the point. All right. And these heathens that created these idols are going to get punished. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Exodus. Where are we at? It might be. A, yep. Chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20. Uh, I'm straight at verse 1. And the most high spake and the most high power spake all these words, saying, I am uh, the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, thou shalt have no other gods before me. All right, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water underneath. So that's it. All we have is Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. Alright, let me check something. Oh, yep, this is uh Zephaniah chapter 2. Let me see where I'm going to start. Let's see. Let's see. Because the Lord. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You know, I'm going to just start at. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 9. I'm going to go down. Uh, it says, therefore, as I live, saith the Hawabashim Yahushai of hosts, the power of Israel, surely Moab shall be as Sodom and the children of Ammon as Gomorrah, even the breeding of nettles and salt pits. And a perpetual desolation, the residue of my people shall spoil them, and the remnant of my people shall possess them. All right, and that's directed at uh, Moab and Ammon, the Chinese and Japanese. They're going to get uh, hands put on them. Verse 10, this shall, this shall they have for their pride, because they have 
reproached and magnified themselves against the people of the Lord of hosts. The Lord will be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the gods of the earth, and men shall worship him, everyone from his place, even all the isles of the heathen. All right, and all the gods of the earth is what all that all these guys that people have come up with and created are going to be blotted out of existence, and everyone's going to realize that they're not real. Everyone is going to come to understand the fear of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, and it says even all the isles of the heathen is going to worship. All right, and who are they going to worship? Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Everyone on this planet very soon is going to realize that that's that's it. That's who created everything. Not not all this bullshit. Esau was incorrect. Evolution's incorrect. Uh, 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 Darwinism, all right, incorrect. Buddhism, incorrect. Islam, Muslim, you niggas, Kemet, black, black woman as God, uh, 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 Ariana Grande, woman is God as a woman. Everyone's going to realize that they're incorrect. All right, so with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Shai, Bashim Rechachadash, the honors to the apostles and elders of the millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all that Akin. Walk, walk, them, learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.